Hey everyone, thank you for checking this video out. My name is Dan C. Bearded. I'm a content creator right here on YouTube, but today I'm coming to you from the Volt Lifeproof Grooming's YouTube channel. If you guys could right away start off by hitting that thumbs up, and if you're not already, please consider subscribing. This platform is full of a bunch of different content creators that are brought together to bring you some really interesting and hopefully useful information, all different sizes, shapes, colors, and styles of beards. I think there's gonna be information that will really resonate with you guys from this channel. Check it out. Today, I wanna to talk about Minoxidil. Now, if you have any kind of beard channel, content creator, company, the term Minoxidil is gonna be brought up oftentimes in a question form. Now, if you're unfamiliar, Minoxidil is the active ingredient in Rogaine. Rogaine's the brand name, Minoxidil is the, the ingredient. Now, a lot of us have been introduced to Rogaine when we heard about it from head hair loss, right? Men trying to battle male pattern baldness. Well, over the last several years, it's become increasingly popular as an attempt for people to grow beards in an area where they don't normally. It is used to fill in patches or spots or even growth patterns where they're lacking visible hairs. Now, I have a lot of experience with talking to people that have tried this, and I would put the results into kind of three camps that I wanna go over and then give you guys just a little bit of perspective and a recommendation or not at the end of this video, so make sure you stick around. So the three camps, I would say the first camp is it works. They try minoxidil, they follow a process, sometimes they use derma rollers to enhance it, and at the end of it, they visibly, factually have hairs now that they didn't when they started. Now, is that always attributed to minoxidil derma roller? We don't know. We can't really narrow down all the variables specifically, but I do know a large amount of people who have tried this and are very happy with the results years and years later. The second camp is it didn't do anything. It was simply an attempt. They didn't get any spots filled in. Maybe they get some little hairs, uh, the vellus hairs, and then they shed and they don't come back again. And then they're pretty upset. They're like, ah, oh well, I tried it. I wasted a little bit of money, wasted a little bit of time, but at least I gave it a shot. That's another very common camp. Now there is a third camp where I have people that have tried minoxidil and then they have an adverse reaction. Their skin breaks out, they have a rash, they have bumps, it's painful, something goes wrong, and who knows what that cause would be, but this is what they've shared with me. This is what they are saying about this experience with minoxidil. Now, are there some factors we can narrow it down to to say, hey, this is why they're over here, or this is why this worked and this didn't? No. I have no idea if it's down to genetics. I have no idea if it's down to the products they use, the process they use. It just seems to be all over across the board. So if you are coming to Volt Lifeproof Grooming, who sells beard products, who goes over beard lifestyle and healthy habits, and you are asking, should I try Minoxidil? My answer as creating this content is, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. This is not something that I am able to really give full recommendations on, but I would highly encourage you to do your homework, do your research, talk to people that have tried it, see what those negative symptoms were, see what the positive results were and how they got there. It is definitely something that is possible. I don't think it's for everyone though. And one thing to consider in those positive results, how many of them would have happened regardless? We know beards get better with age. Oftentimes, you're gonna reach your best beard in your late 30s, all the way into your 40s, some people in their 50s and 60s. Things like a healthier lifestyle can make a massive impact. So maybe somebody started using it, they waited enough long a time, they started having healthier habits because they're paying attention, and then they got results Maybe they associate it with the minoxidil, but who knows if it was a different variable that accounted for that. So I would say if it was man to man, friend to friend, what is your advice? I would try all of the healthy options first and see what that gives you. Give it some patience. Give it good quality beard products like the ones from Volt Life Proof Grooming. Try drinking more water. Get outside, get some exercise, some vitamin D from the sun. Try to eat better. All of these things can factor in to having a better beard, a faster growing beard, spots filling in that you didn't think would ever fill in. And maybe, just maybe, it's even just a little bit of time. Let's say you do have a spot, but what if the hairs above it grow over and cover it? It's like it never existed. So just some food for thought, no pun intended here, when you're thinking about all things considered with minoxidil. Now, comment section down below could be very helpful on this video. Do you guys have any experience with minoxidil? Share down below. Was it great? Was it not great? Was it something else and in between? 
we would love to hear here at Volt Life Proof Grooming. And I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of viewers that are running down to those comments to hear from people that have tried. I have not tried personally, but I hope the perspective and the experience that I have been given from people that shared it with me maybe help someone out there today. So again, guys, my name is Dan C. Bearded, representing Volt Life Proof Grooming for content creation today. I hope you guys dive into this channel, see the other videos that are out there, and above all, have a great day. Your beard is looking fantastic.